Right, today we're going to be looking at one of these microwave oven transformer and also what comes with the microwave oven transformer capacitor. It has uh, come to my attention that uh, there are a few people out there who don't have a clue. Not a monkey's as to uh, really what they're letting themselves in for. So uh, if you if you are considering, well, if you do insist on uh, playing around with high voltage, I recommend something like this. That is a uh, transformer out of a uh, fly killer, and uh, I like these things because. Uh, you know, the wires are quite nicely marked, you've got your ground, live, neutral, and then you've got the HT leads. So we'll, we'll power that one up a bit later on. And this then will, believe it or not, this will actually power a uh, small Tesla core. So uh, I think really, in the grand scheme of things, that is more educational than that. Right, what I've got over here is a uh, transformer set up with a capacitor and uh, we're going to have a bit of a uh, risk assessment. Uh, we do have a slight problem with uh, irrelevant items on this work surface. Right, this one goes out to uh, those of you who do know what you're doing, but you always say, safety first, unplug. Well, with the microwave oven transformer on its own, that is uh, good advice, but uh, I've got a capacitor hooked up to mine, and uh, those leads are going to my voltmeter. So well, what I'll do is I'll now demonstrate what happens when we uh, unplug it and then discharge that capacitor. What I'm now doing is plugging in the uh, power supply. I do also recommend that you pick up your discharge stick before you switch anything on. Transformers on. 214 volts, pull an arc. <coughs> <coughs> now what I just did though is I switched off the uh, transformer parts that are still arcing and therefore we've got uh, quite a bit of potential left in that cat. Well you watch what happens that meter. That's it. There's a bit of potential there. Let's repeat the experiment. It's too quick for me to actually see what's uh, being registered. But so I'm quite sure that you guys get it. So uh, I do recommend that uh, you switch off the uh, transformer, then you discharge the capacitor, then uh, unplug it. Right now, in relation to uh, clutter, I have uh, removed it. I've even bothered to remove the uh, voltmeter because it's no longer needed so well uh, I think we'll just draw some marks but really I don't recommend that you use wood I personally prefer white or grey PVC pipe when I was playing around with Tesla coils I noticed that uh, black PVC tends to uh, you know you get a bit of carbon tracking but uh, before we're doing it, I think that we'll get away with using wood. But uh, with neon sign transformers, obviously, 
this is single phase and I've connected it to the uh, ground on the transformer and it is also grounded always ground these things because they are nasty right so what I've done is I've picked up my uh, discharge stick I'm now plugging it in now I can switch it on and draw a nice arc So uh, now that we've uh, had a bit of fun, we'll now switch that off, <laughs> discharge it, and then unplug it from that uh, visual gap. Oh, and uh, another thing about uh, discharge sticks, right? Yeah. Loads and loads and loads and loads of YouTube users. Yeah, this may protect you from the initial voltage, but uh, when we draw those arcs, all it will take is for a slight breeze or something for it to blow, and uh, it could potentially make contact with your skin, resulting in a very nasty shock. Right, what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you boys what's wrong to uh, use screwdrivers to uh, discharge these transformers because it's quite dangerous that may protect you from the initial voltage but that arc might become a little bit unstable by wind or breeze and uh, it may make contact with your uh, skin resulting in a nasty shock most likely fatal, watch this Switch it off. Discharge. Oops. That's supposed to be electric, electrically insulated. I think it just died. <laughs> What's the matter? It's, um, I've ever actually been put off uh, uploading videos on this channel because. Someone decided to play about with one of those transformers with absolutely no clue with these as a discharge stick. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, all it's going to take is for a tiny little split in there and you touch that. Ooh. It's not really worth thinking about, so uh, I think we will do a little bit on the electrocution. Why not? There's a, uh, an old dried up orange that I found and uh, we're going to zap it to observe the uh, effects. I think you might be quite interested. Right, so we've got to switch it off and just charge it. Then we unplug it. Examine that damage. There's the burn marks. Absolutely tiny. Well, that's probably not even, you know, really and truthfully, that honestly, that is the least of your worries. That's probably not even 0.01% of the damage that that would do to your body. Yeah. Obviously, you've got to bear in mind your heart, nervous system, etc. Um, really, it is not good. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is finish it right off. It's going to stink, but uh, 
I think it's worth it. I can't help it. Sorry guys, I can't help it. It's got to die. Oh, interesting. See how that arc's going all over the place. You imagine if that's a pair of scissors or a screwdriver. That's just one transformer and a presser. Discharge it and then unplug it for that uh, visual gap. 